Okay, hey you guys, it's uh, Vince with Green Joe Coffee, and today I wanted to make a quick little video here on uh, how much does it cost to start a coffee truck. I've made a ton of these videos, and the, the range is very large, so I just wanted to kind of go over a couple different coffee truck setups and maybe give you some ideas and some understanding on what it might cost to get yourself into this industry. Um, if you find this valuable, will you do me a favor and hit the like button? It helps YouTube. Um, kind of spread the word a little bit. So um, that'll help me out. But with no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here so we can just kind of dig into some of the different coffee trucks. So just doing a little bit of research online here. And this is uh, the Wondering Coffee Company. Uh, beautiful coffee truck, guys. I really like what you did with that, that wood pallet here down here. Now, I'm curious on whether or not that's a wrap or wood pallet. Um, I kind of see there's some bolting over here to the side. So it leads me to believe that that's a wrap which is a pretty smart move because I think what they did is they gave it a really cute aesthetic appeal for probably a pretty low cost because all they had to do was kind of wrap that bottom piece right there with kind of fox, you know, some some uh, fake, fake wood, so to speak. This menu right here looks like just some um, corrugated plastic. I would say that's probably 24 inches by 36 inches from Vistaprint. You get those real cheap. Um, looks like this is just a two by four with maybe some epoxy on it or no, that's sorry. That's probably a one by six. I apologize, um, which is some epoxy on it. A couple different crates. This big window right here. I've seen these things run for about 300 bucks because he doesn't have the glass in there. You can get them fairly cheaper. So it looks like he just bolted on right here. So he got a, a nice, uh, a nice window. Um, the entire cargo trailer right there. Because it's only a single axle, I'm betting you can get these things for probably about, I don't know, two and a half grand. I'm looking back here, that looks like a freezer. It looks like he's got a little mini fridge back there. Looks like there's a Chemex right here. So, you know, probably some pretty inexpensive um, startup, in my opinion. You know, you smaller refrigerator, you can get them for less than 500 bucks, small freezer. Um, you know, the, uh, the Chemex is maybe 50, 60 bucks as opposed to 300 for a, uh, for a, a, a coffee maker. So, you know, overall real good job on this one, wondering coffee co. I think you guys did stellar job on this one. Um, you know, this is probably a, a fairly, uh, less expensive, um, trailer to start up with. So let's move on to the next one. All right. So this is a horse trailer, converted horse trailer, really cute. I really like what they did with this one. Um, so you can see up here that they probably put in their own window. Looks like they just use some steel kick kickstands. And, uh, those are some, some door hinges that they look like they painted black. These things you'd get them off of Amazon for maybe 50 bucks a piece. So that's really nice. Um, let's take a look at the, the menu. They got lattes. There's an espresso machine in there. And then of course you have your hand washing sink. I don't know if they have a triple sink on there. Imagine if they do, it'd either be on this wall or maybe in the back there. So, um, Horse, horse trailers um, are nice because you can pull them with like V4, V6 engines, real smaller engines. You can see that it's attached here to a coupe. Um, but, you know, there's no insulation in this thing. So they're going to bake during the summer. Um, and it's also going to be really hot during the winter. Um, and because of this big gaping hole in the middle of their wall, you know, they're definitely going to uh, have a hard time managing their HVAC. So, so, you know, those are all things to be considered, but I mean, I bet this was kind of a lower startup. And I just think it's really cute. I really like what they did with the trailer here. So good job, guys. Would love to see the branding. I guess they got something over here on the side. Would love to see something underneath the window maybe so that when people take pictures of it, they get a little bit more word of mouth spread. But anyhow, moving forward. All right, so a uh, cute little milk truck, um, Chevy or Grumman. I'm not quite sure which one this is, but this looks like it was, um, high wire coffee roasters out of Oakland. Um, so obviously once you start stepping into the truck, you're going to be spending a lot more money. Um, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a service window. So I'm wondering, it's probably on the other side, actually, now that I see a little generator uh, up front here, they probably have their service window out there on the other side. You know, these, these trucks right here, I see them, you know, I often see them on eBay for around 10 grand. I think you can find one for about 10, 15 grand, but you're going to be spending a lot more money once you start stepping away from trailers and into trucks. Okay, so another cargo trailer. This one is Sundog, Sundog Coffee. So great, great setup. I really like what these guys did. Um, again, so this looks like actual pallet wood. I can see it attached to the door here. This was probably the, the original door that they had. 
And so they just put this pallet wood in there and I think it, it came out absolutely wonderful. Another one by six up top here for their, for their service counter. Um, looks like they just did um, some Pexi glass for their uh, menu. Very smart guys. And then this drive-through window, because it does have the glass, the glass in it, it's going to be much more expensive. So I bet they spent probably about a thousand bucks on that thing right there. Um, and it looks like um, I can't quite see the espresso machine back there, but I'm betting that's a two group semi-automatic. I can't tell what type if I had to guess, maybe a Salmonelli. I don't know. You guys would know better than I do. Um, but that's going to cost them probably a, a pretty penny. If I had to guess probably three or four grand on that two group espresso machine, which means they have a bigger generator. So they probably spent, you know, 800,000 bucks on the generator if, if they didn't get the Honda. So, um, nice setup guys. I think you could do a stellar job on this one. The whole cargo trailer right here, you probably find it about three grand. So, all right. So boom, moving into the trucks, you're going to get pricier off these trucks. This one's huge. So look at this thing, you know, this is like, 20 plus foot truck you know so you know, big old panel van they got an awning up here that awning's going to cost the you know grand maybe 1500 bucks looks like they got a rooftop ac that's another 1500 bucks um the truck itself is probably 15 20 grand truck you know and then who knows what equipment's sitting inside that thing so you know when you start stepping into those bigger trucks you're going to spend more money on them okay lakewood coffee co so it looks like they got some i, I want to post this because they these guys got some sun panels so that's pretty cool they got a little solar panel out there so super interested to see how they got how they did theirs but you know they have a little service window in the back there and um looks like a rooftop unit so again the rooftop units are a little bit more expensive those solar panels are pricey so you're going to spend some money on that and then that's a pretty sweet cargo trailer so i bet they spent a couple grand on that i would say probably maybe four grand maybe five grand for something like that's in real good condition um so you know that one's going to cost more money Okay, these guys, I did business or uh, shared a festival with these guys. We set up together when we were in California. I, I, I did a festival. I live in Albuquerque. And I, I went out to California to do a festival and got to meet this couple, wonderful couple. Um, they built out this uh, this uh, uh, little coffee cart twice because their first one was stolen. And then I think they found it again. So they got a long story, but this is Third Wheel Coffee. They make wonderful cold brew, wonderful espresso. This is going to be much more detailed, much more expensive. I mean, the, the vehicle itself is pricey, getting maintenance on the vehicle. And then these things aren't U.S., um, you know, they're not certified for U.S. travel. So you have to put it in a trailer. So, you know, count that twice. Um, they got a wonderful espresso machine, beautiful espresso machine. That's going to be expensive. So setups like this, really, really cute, but very, very expensive. And then, you know, as you can tell, it's not going to be very HVAC back friendly because you're just sitting outside. So if it's cold, you're going to be cold. If it's hot, you're going to be hot. So, um, but I mean, as far as uh, the aesthetics, I don't think you get much better than that. Okay, so here's a um, Airstreams. Airstreams by themselves are, are pricey. This is one's in good condition. So it's probably be sitting up there 20, 30 grand for an Airstream here in Albuquerque. I bet you guys in California probably pay 50 or 60. Um, looks like they got a couple of windows put into it. So those are probably a thousand bucks to get those windows put in and cut into it. Um, can't really see what's on their menu. So I can't make too much of a judgment. I do see a percolator back there. Um, they probably have the triple sinks and everything. So um, very much more of an expensive setup. Uh, I don't see any I see this looks like a vent, but I don't see any air conditioner in there. So that's something that uh, I would you know, probably want to look into. Uh, here's another uh, coffee truck. These things are just absolutely wonderful. You know, I think they're just just so beautiful. I think, you know, whenever I think of like the epitome of coffee trucking, this is what I think of. It's just um, but, you know, these units are hard to come by. They're expensive and they're maintenance terror, you know, so. Um, probably something that I, I, I wouldn't want to be driving for my daily vehicle, but maybe they got a different type of setup. Really nice awning. I think they did a great job with that. They probably have a really wonderful espresso machine in there. So this looks like an expensive setup. I bet these people probably did spared no cost, you know, so. And then last but not least, there's my coffee truck. So Green Joe's coffee truck. This is the last one I built out out of a horse trailer. It's just a converted horse trailer. I just used some panel wood to make it look pretty, some signs from Amazon, and I got a coffee cart that I wheel into there. So, um, you know, overall, very much of a less expensive setup, um, but it was kind of more of a do-it-yourselfer to, to kind of show guidance on, on how to move from espresso cart to coffee truck. So there's mine. Well, anyhow, um, 
I hope it helps. I mean, just want to kind of go over a couple of different coffee truck ideas for you guys and see if it's something that uh, that uh, maybe, you know, might help you out. My name's Spence. I'm with Green Joe Coffee Truck. Thanks for tuning in.